Hi everybody, it's Charles with The Haunted House of Oxford. Today we're going to be wiring up that guy. That guy. Up there, the boogeyman. And to do that, we're going to go back to our Peekaboo Junior controller and figure out how to hook up the trigger and all this fun stuff. So I thought I'd bring you along show you how it's going to be hooked up. You may have remembered I did a video not too long ago showing how the AC accessory for the Peekaboo's hook up. It's a little, kind of looks like a power strip and it hooks in with a relay to the Peekaboo Junior controller to control things for power on or off, things like that. So I have a strobe light hooked up to it, for example. So the theory being that when I trigger the Peekaboo Junior via motion sensor, the strobe light should turn on and we want the boogeyman to activate and do a thing, right? Song and dance, whatever. But the downfall was that with this prop, at least, I don't know about others, but I know this one at least, if you disconnect power and reconnect power, which is essentially what the AC accessory for the Peekaboo does, he always starts over at the same phrase. What we're gonna do is we're gonna actually wire off into the Try Me Jack on the back using some alarm wire and an eighth inch mono plug. Now those plugs, I ordered a batch of 10 of them. They're right here. And then we have a little bit of alarm wire. Now the way this is gonna run, we're going to hook one of these plugs onto the end of some alarm wire. That alarm wire is then going to run all the way up and around and down to our Peekaboo controller. For the sake of argument though, we're going to make just a short version of it. Uh, we're not gonna bother with the whole running it around thing. So we're just gonna do, you know, wing out a few feet and plug them into the back and hook them up and I'll show you how that's gonna be done. Once I've got the wire unspooled, we'll turn you around and then you can watch what I'm doing. All right, so as you can see, we're pretty well prepped. We've got our Peekaboo Junior controller right here. Now we still have it wired into the PIR sensor over here. Uh, we're gonna unplug it for the time being. We also have this wire here running over to the AC box, which is just hiding in the corner. And the only reason it's there is because that's the only place I could put it where it would actually reach the outlet. So if you're curious as to how that all works, I will leave a link in the description for that video. We've also got some wire strippers, although the wire we're dealing with, this goes down to 20, 22 gauge. This is actually 24 gauge alarm wire, so we might be a little bit tricky with that. But we have an ace in our sleeve, and you can probably tell it's that package right in the middle. Not that one, this one. And then here is our 8th inch mono plug. This is what's going to plug into the Try Me Jack of our prop. On the end, I specifically bought these because it comes with a pigtail on it. You don't have to solder into the jack, you actually have a pigtail right here. And then we have the end of our wire. This wire is what's actually going over to the prop, although I'm actually backwards. We're gonna wire the jack onto the end of this one, and then we'll turn everything around, plug this into the prop, and get down to the business end on this side. First thing we need to do, though, is strip this back. What we're going to do is we're going to use a knife. We're just gonna fold this over real quick. It doesn't matter how much we expose. We don't need a ton, but just a little bit. Uh, and all I'm gonna do is just kind of rock this into the shield just enough to break the shield on a bend uh, it's hard to focus on this but i don't want to cut i just want to you know score it if you will we don't want to cut into the conductors on the inside once that's kind of scored you can see how i've got maybe you can't um, but if you could see you'd see that i have a tiny little gap right there a tiny little cut we're just going to grab our fingernails and uh, pull this apart close that up and here we go very simple, we have red and black, red and black. What we're going to do is we're gonna cheat and we're gonna use these things. These things are used for telephone wires. They've got a very small hole opening uh, and it tells you on the back how you can do it. Now the way these work is you stick your wire into here, one on each side, there's three openings in here. So you stick your wires in and then you compress this using a pair of pliers or something like this. This red piece will snap in and it will puncture. It's hard to see on here, but once you see them, there's little metal tabs in there and those will puncture into the wires and make your connection. So again, all we have to do is feed one wire in, but you can see right there is the bare end that's stripped. So if I move this back and forth, you can see that's the end of it. And you can see how that actually goes past the center section, which is where the metal conductors are, so you don't really need them stripped. Uh, I'm not going to bother unstripping them since it's already stripped. Now we're going to take the second red from our trigger wire that's going over the prop, slide that in there. So now these are both in there as far as can be. Grab our pliers and presto. Uh, these pliers are not the best to use because they don't center really well, but you kind of get the idea. We are now locked 
into place. Again, we're just going to repeat the same thing for the second wire. And we'll put this one in first on this one just because it's closer. So there, those are in there. We're going to kind of hold them together with our fingers long enough to get over here with our pliers. And bam, that one went easy. That one was nice. So now both wires are in there. We are now connected. No soldering required. No fancy splice connectors that you might break a wire since they are such a small gauge. And this end goes to the prop. So I'm going to go plug this into the boogeyman. We'll be right back. Alrighty, so we've gotten our cord run all the way over to the boogeyman. It's hard to see, but there it is. It's on the floor, and it's going up to him. Now, the way this works is that this cord is now our try me button. Normally, a try me is a button, which all it's doing is connecting these two wires together. So if we click these together, you will hear him go off. There we go. Now we're going to wire this guy over here onto our relay number two. Now remember with these Peekaboo Junior controllers, you control what happens when things go off. So if I want to program this, I push record and then I can push relay one or two buttons and trigger whatever is hooked up to it to go off. So I can make a scene. I can say, okay, I want two to go off and I want one to play for one, two, three, four, about that long. And then I can take my finger off and then I can push record again to save that programming. So that anytime something plays or triggers with our motion sensor, for example, it's going to do the same exact thing that I just did for the same exact duration. Now the tricky part is these are fairly small screws. Luckily, you can actually take these right out of the box. Now this will show you normally closed, common, and normally open. Now we want to close the circuit. We want to touch the wires together that closes our circuit. So we're going to use the common and the normally open. We want it to be normally open until the relay triggers, then it will close momentarily. So what we need to do is we need to take our other end of our trigger and go to common and normally open. Now it doesn't matter which way you put these in because you're just making a contact. It's not power. You don't have to worry about a positive and negative or anything like that. Now, Unfortunately, you do need a pretty small screwdriver to get to these, so I'm going to go find one and tighten these terminals down, and then we'll be back once I figure that out. Alrighty, we have our trigger wired here, so we're going to go ahead and plug these back in. And they just push in just like so. Again, if you were doing this with two different props, for example, let's say you wanted to run two separate props, you would just do this on both and you would ignore the wiring going out to that. You wouldn't need to run power jumpers like we have in this one. So if you're curious as to why there's power running all over, it's strictly because of that AC accessory. If you're really looking to do this more on just a prop option, then that's gonna be just these over here with just these two little wires. And you can trigger those one, two, one, two all day long, all you want without needing power. If you do need the PIR controller, that comes over here. That wiring is fairly well documented. You just hook the colors that are on the PIR sensor from Fright Props directly to the colors that it says on here. So we're gonna plug our peekaboo controller in. You can see it lighting up. We're gonna turn on our strobe light because we want the strobe light to go off when he triggers. Now, we are ready to program this. So we have to decide how we want to do this. The momentary for the prop only needs to be a quick press. You don't actually have to hold it down for as long as your prop wants to go off. You just need to touch it once because then the prop will cycle automatically. So for number two, we only have to push it, just click, and then that will go off. But we want our strobe light to go off for longer than that. We want it to go off for as long as people are walking into this room. Well, as people are walking into this room, we don't know how long it's going to take for them to go by. So we want to give ourselves, you know, 15, 20 seconds worth of strobe light effect before we reset it. And after we're done resetting, after the triggers are done, we want to actually not end the recording for about another, no, 15, 20 seconds or so. And what that will do is it'll give us a buffer. What that means is that we will not be able to activate it again until that extra 20 seconds is gone. So if you have people coming through and you want it to reset and not just automatically trigger every time somebody walks in or any other reason, you want to leave yourself a little bit of a buffer at the end. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to push number two to activate him. At the same time, we're going to hit the strobe light button. We're not going to have to hold down number two. We're just going to press it. But the strobe light button, we are going to have to hold down for as long as we want it to go off. So let's go ahead and do that. Pushing the record button to start the programming. Okay. 
20. There's our 20 seconds of strobe light. But as you can see, we have not stopped the recording yet. We're going to let it keep going. Uh, da -da -da -da. We're just going to keep counting. And da -da 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 -da. we're going to keep counting. That sounds good. All right. We're programmed. That's all there is to it. Alrighty, so we are programmed and ready to go. So all we have to do is walk through this door and in theory, everything is going to work. Um, I will put up a warning for strobe lights. I'll do a countdown and uh, in five seconds, we're going to go through that door and then I'll let you know when it's safe. But if you need to turn this off, I will let you know when you're good. Five seconds, here we go. Alright, and you're good. Welcome back. So, uh, as you can see, it worked. Um, I might have to play with the positioning of the motion sensor a little bit, but you can see how that works. All we have to do is run the output from one of the relays off of the Peekaboo Junior to the Tri-Me Jack. And using those little telephone splice connectors, mm, perfect. They work great. Um, saves you soldering, saves you heat shrink, saves you taping, all that fun stuff. You can tape them up if you wish, but you don't have to. And again, if you have multiple props, you can just run a lead to each one. So if you want to have one prop go off and then 10 seconds later, another prop go off, you can do that with the programming. So that's how you would wire a Peekaboo Junior controller to a prop just using a simple Try Me Jack. Now I know that the Peekaboo Junior can be overwhelming just because of so much functionality, but hooking up the props, really not that hard. So if that's something you're interested in, go try it. I'm sure you'll be fine. And if you have any other questions, just let them down below. I know a couple people that asked me about this after my last video, so I wanted to just do a quick video showing how that TriMe works. So there you go. Have a good one, everybody. We'll see you next time.